That was huge. You know, we were third and long situation there, which we found ourselves in several times tonight, which is not great. But, uh, you know, got them to jump, and then um, they played really high on Julio on the left side. Looked left first, and uh, the, the corner was way, way on top of him. Looked right, and um, AJ was a lot closer to the corner. So, um, just put a ball up, let him, uh, let him go make a play, and obviously, you know, he played huge on that play, just like he did all night. Brian, how much of this was the frustration like maybe in the first half, and and how were you guys able to get off the mat and get into such a good rhythm in the second half? Yeah, you know, we, we did some good things. We just weren't consistent enough, you know. Um, had some conversions, you know, had a couple drives moving a little bit. We just weren't able to sustain and, and get down into the scoring range. So, um, you know, it felt like we were close. You know, I never felt like we were a long way off or, or um, we were beating our heads against the wall or anything. You know, I felt like we were close. We just needed to make a play. You needed to make a play, get some points on the board, and, and then we'd be rolling. You said yourself with reasons you hoped that AJ was going to be able to play today. Getting him back out there, you know, what did that, how much did that help your game? Because it seemed like more tight window throws, more confidence, more cockiness. How much did that help you today? Oh, it's huge. You know, AJ is a, is a heck of a player. I have so much fun throwing the ball to him. Um, yeah, he finds a way to get open. He's big. He's physical. He's great with the ball in his hands, and, uh, and he makes plays on the ball. So he's everything you look for in a wide receiver and have a ton of confidence throwing the football. So no doubt it was great to have him back. Scrambled there at the end. Can you kind of walk us through that play? It looked, how close was it to a sack, and then how did you make the decision to, to go? Yeah, it was a cover two look. Um, we had a smash on. They did a pretty good job of, of matching it early, and uh, thought I was going to be able to get the corner to sink. And, uh, and ripped the hitch out there on the sideline, get out of bounds. They did a pretty good job of matching it. So came back, um, tore my check down, felt the lane, you know, gave him a little pump fake, uh, was able to, to squeeze through there. J-Mac got a, got a good block for me to, to kind of spring me there at about five yards you know, into the run, uh, made it kind of an arm tackle. I was able to run through that. And you know, once I felt the space, and I want to get as, much, as many yards as I could down into, uh, into field goal range. Was, was nobody got a lick on you during that? They looked like they had some room. You talking about at the end? Um, no, I, I felt kind of you know the, the walls closing in, so to speak, on on both sides. Those those two guys are kind of converging on me, but I was kind of in the middle of them and uh, was was moving forward. So you know, I felt like at that point in the game, you know, the yards were, were crucial and wanted to get as many as I could. I'm proud of those guys. You know, they came in, they battled. Uh, they hung with it. You know, I told them before the game, every play is not going to be perfect, but just bounce back and reset and get ready to go again. And uh, they came and played huge for us. You know, Dylan, a guy who didn't even know he was going to be active probably, you know, and then all of a sudden he's starting the game and, and playing every play for us. You know, he, he did a great oh, – obviously I haven't looked at the tape, but felt like he, he did a great job. You know, I know he went into the game with a lot of confidence. Uh, just talking to him before the game, and I'm proud of those guys and the way they played. I think this game is going to help this team's confidence and how important it is to kind of be consistent here down the stretch as you get ready for the postseason. Yeah, we need to start, you know, stacking them. You know, it's, it's a good win, um, good, tough, physical battle, which we knew it was going to be coming in. We found a way to win, which is exactly what um, we believe in each other around here and believe we're going to do. And now we just have to be able to, to start stacking those wins. I uh, Take advantage of the opportunity. I'm proud of him. Um, Happy for him that he's going to get this opportunity and go have fun and, and just play your game. I know you were talking with Randy. He, he mentioned to us that this is the anniversary of his father's death. Did you know that? And maybe how proud are you of him for, for maybe doing his job under that, in, with that in mind? Yeah, I did not know that. I wish I, I wish I would have. I would have said something to him, you know. But uh, proud of Randy. He came in and and uh, you know made a huge kick. He's kicked well for us all year. So, you know, it's uh, it's been great having him around. You know, and, and Aggie from a long time ago to, uh, to reunite and, and spend some quality time and, and be on the same team again is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, making that kick at the end was clutch, just like he's been all year. The weather yourself, right? You sound like a maybe Yeah, not the weather, but the voice is going, uh, I think, just from yelling. Yeah, it was huge, you know, I think just for, for everybody to, to get a win and, and get some momentum. You know, I think um, still have a lot to clean up, obviously. You know, slow start was brutal. You know, we have to be able to come out and score points earlier. Um, but proud of our guys, we, we battled through. There was never any panic, a lot of confidence. 
you know, on the sideline at halftime knowing that we just needed one play, just need to get some points in, and we'd be rolling. So proud of our guys sticking with it and then um, making it happen in the second half.